This is the ultimate guide to animal farms in Lego Fortnite. Now the goal of today isn't just to show you how to farm or how to create animal farms. The goal today is to make you an expert on this brand new update. Now to start off with the absolute basics, you have a brand new utility item and that is going to be called the barn. This costs 10 plank in order to make, but this will now be a home or really a bed for your new animals. Once you guys go ahead and unlock this by putting that plank into your inventory, you guys can place this down. You will need a grill nearby as that is actually a huge part of it as this will unlock the animal tree. You're gonna need five vines and three corns in order to create an animal tree and also unlock them. And all of these animal treats are used to keep those animals happy and to bring them back to your village. Now, once you have animal treats, all you want to do is walk up to any animal that is out in the wild that are chickens, sheep, cows, pigs, and then give them one of your treats. It replaces the option of petting them and it allows you to feed them. Once you go back to that empty barn that you placed, it'll allow you to reassign that farm or that barn to that animal. You get to name them and then make that their personal house. Now your villager hub is incredibly important after this update. If you go over to residence, I believe that the best way to go ahead and set this up is having six total villagers and then four total animals being one of each. However, you guys can set this up however you guys would like. As far as the villager jobs, we'll talk about that later because there is a really nice trick in order to making every single one of your animals extremely happy and working at maximum speed which means they're going to give you different type of items at the fastest possible rate now one of the first tricks that i want to show you guys is actually with your villager jobs what you want to do is talk to any single one of your villagers or really all six of your villagers and you want to put them on a food job to cook food food. Now, once they're on this job, all that you want to have around you is going to be grills. You don't want ovens and you don't want juicers. The reason being is they will actually only work on items from the grill, which means it is very likely that they're going to give you some of these animal treats in bundles. You're going to get 15 of them, 18 of them, 20 of them, just because you only have a grill in the area and you have your villagers working on this. So no more wasting your time waiting for corn to grow or creating corn or finding vines. You could just have your villagers do all of that for you. Now, I want to apologize for the quality of this clip right here, but this comes directly from my live stream last night where I actually grabbed a sheep from the frost biome just to see exactly what a sheep would give me in return if they were at my home village. So if you actually are able to get one of these sheep and bring them back to your village, they'll actually give you different type of items than regular sheep. The best way to do this is to have a fishing rod and then some leftover vine as they will come directly to that vine and then you can pull them onto your aircraft or onto your regular car. This is going to make it very easy to transport these animals and you could do this with pretty much any of them to transport them from different biomes back to your main village. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to my guy Vitor inside of my Discord. If you guys aren't part of the Discord, you have to join right now down in the description. But he went ahead and figured out every single food item and what it does to the animals at your village. So we will be able to feed our animals different type of food items and they will give us something back in return. So they're going to work for you exactly like a regular villager does. So when it comes to different type of animals, the things that stick out to me is a cow can give you spicy burgers when it comes to pepper seeds or spicy peppers and can also give you snowberry shakes if you give them a snowberry or a snowberry seed. When it comes to your sheep, they will give you wool and we will talk about something even crazier about that later. Your pig can give you slurp juice, although I'm collecting slurp mushrooms from them right now and your chicken can actually give you fried eggs if you give them pepper seeds. Now I'm gonna talk fast here, so feel free to rewind or slow down this video. When it comes to your sheep, the best thing that you can give them is going to be vines. They're actually going to give you wool in return. But like you guys know, my sheep is actually from the snow biome, which means instead of getting regular wool, this sheep is actually going to give me 
heavy wool, which makes them a much better animal. Regular wool is cool and very nice, but it's not very difficult to get. This makes it so I do not need to go to the snow biome in order to find myself some heavy wool. You can also see that underneath of Scrappy's name, it says that they are very happy and their speed is at max. I will go ahead and show you guys some tips to help out with this as well, as that is a really unique trick that I was taught inside of my stream today. When it comes to your next animal being your cow, if I give my cow my eight pepper seeds, they are going to make spicy burgers for me. When I get over to mustard, I can give them more pepper seeds and they will give me fried eggs. And when it comes to the cow or the pig, I'm sorry, this isn't the greatest of animals, but giving them vines will give me some slurp mushrooms. And the way that I look at the slurp mushrooms is in previous updates, bones did nothing. Right now, these don't do anything or really do much outside of making types of drinks. So maybe in the future, these will do a lot. Now there's a few tricks to make sure that every single one of your animals not only is very happy, but also works at max speed. As again, having them very happy and working at max speed just means that they're going to give you different type of items much faster. Now there's a few little tricks that we could talk about here today. The first thing that you could do is have one of your villagers go and work on a new job. Simply go to let's talk jobs, help the village, resource jobs and take care of the animals. What I found is that this isn't a terrible job to do, but the only problem is they really don't do anything for you except look like they're scooping poop out of the barns. So the next thing that you guys can actually do is hit different emotes. Emotes do pop up that heart above the animals. They will also dance for a second with you and that actually makes them happy in your world. And if they're happy, that means they're going to work faster than you. Both of those things are extremely extremely, extremely nice. The next thing that you could do in order to make this happen is actually put some water buckets around them. You can see that they will walk up to these and they will get a heart over top of their head. Now, these water buckets come in different variations. You guys have the outdoor one like the nightly trough or the nightly tro based on how you say it. I don't know, but this is something that works. If you guys don't have that unlocked, you guys can always go over and get different types of water products as well. So if you guys have water barrels or anything with water, you could put them out front of their village huts as well or out front of their barns and that will continue to make them happy. So as long as they're fed, they have their water and you dance occasionally with them, you no longer need to have a villager working on that job. Now that's truly all that you need to know about every single one of these animals in this update. Like I said, make sure that your villagers are working as well as your animals are working as that'll make this the most efficient base that you could possibly have. You guys can obviously do things differently as far as how many animals that you want inside of your village, as well as what type of jobs that you want on top of your village. Village. However, I make sure that I try to have the most efficient thing possible and right now running all of these little tricks that I showed you guys has every single animal not only very happy but working at max speed. So my village is doing extremely well and I hope that this video helps every single one of your guys villages as well.